Hello there, today I have Mini Lego Transformers Animated uh, RC and here she is in her vehicle mode and uh, to be honest I don't think it's pretty or that accurate because the colors are more based on the robot mode and uh, her limbs basically don't transform so the limbs are just uh, the robot mode colored limbs just placed where they are so the the colors might not be a hundred percent accurate, but this entire section right here I know is accurate because I actually tried to get it to look like the vehicle mode. But yeah, that's the vehicle mode. This is a spoiler, by the way. And uh, I don't know what is this called—the driver's seat, wherever that is. So yeah, that's uh, basically the. Vehicle mode. There are no wheels because it's a Cybertron vehicle number one. But on the the design, it does have wheels, but they kind of like half covered up. So uh, also, I just don't know how to add wheels onto the this back section right here due to the way they're built and how tall she has to be for scale accuracy. So I was kind of lucky that the wheels are kind of not really visible on the actual model so yeah and I still think it looks accurate enough without the wheels here's this stuff RC is about six studs long and here is RC with the rest of my animated builds so far and Megatron is already dead because I had to use Megatron's shoulder pieces for RC's arms and uh yeah Ironhide's dead too Alright, now it's time for the pretty simple transformation. First thing you're going to do, swivel these sections all the way up. And make sure they don't actually fall off. Just like so. Then swivel this entire section around the other way. And then this will swivel up. This uh, section will swivel down. And then the, the little uh, spoiler wings uh, will fold up. But that finishes her backpack. Stand her up. Uh, push the legs in. And then fold the arms down and that is RC in her robot mode. It's a pretty simple but effective transformation and I think I got the robot mode pretty accurate. So here's RC in her robot mode. The windshield should like be more down here but uh, just due to how it has to transform and all that uh, that's not possible but I think it's still accurate enough. And I think the backpack also compresses really well, and the wings actually end up in an accurate spot too. So that's really nice. So I guess articulation, uh, her arms can go back that far. Um, her arms kind of hit her hips, but if you move the elbow, uh, then she can move back that far. And she does have a 90 degree elbow, forward and backward, but why would you want to do that? And then, her head is on a swivel like most of my builds, because it's a one stud connection. And naturally she has a full waist swivel, her backpack actually uh, doesn't get in the way, like... It actually just barely hits her hips, like... But it still does swivel all the way around. And then her legs kick forward that far, back that far, uh, and the feet have a swivel. But it's not really intended, it's just uh, how the feet are built. So yeah, that's our scene in robot mode. She doesn't have any accessories. I would have built her swords, but 
I don't think she actually uses them in the show. I don't think so. I might be wrong. I don't know. I just didn't build them. Comparisons. RC is about five and a half studs tall. And here she is with the rest of my animated builds. And here she is with this stuff. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys next time with uh, Mini Soundwave. I'm just trying to extend the length of this video. These videos are getting shorter and shorter.